Hi, I'm going to bring you along today as I'm setting up some stations for my first grade artist. Um, we're going to be making animal mask coming up. So today we're going to be practicing some 3D paper techniques. To get started, I am labeling my students' papers for today. Um, it's simply a check sheet with each of the skills that they're going to try, and they're going to check it off once they go to that station. Um, on the back, when they finish all the stations, they're going to plan out two different ideas for animal masks, some possible um, ideas, and then they're going to cross off which of the techniques that they learned today might work well with those ideas. So I'm putting name tag labels on those, as well as labeling a bag for each student so that they can put their pieces from each station in here, and they can save these pieces for us to make a crazy hat next week. Now I'm going to be setting up the actual station. So I just keep this box in my closet when I'm not using it. But inside there are Dollar Tree, just acrylic um, stands. And I put inside there a color photo of the technique on both sides with it labeled. So at the red table, I'm going to have the students do curling. At my yellow table, I'm going to have them make a spiral. So I'm going to set these signs up in just a second. In here, I also have an example of each of the techniques where I've done it on paper and laminated it and cut it out so kids can kind of touch it and interact with it to see what that looks like. And I have little Dollar Tree containers that I have pre-cut the color of the paper that students will make at that table. So at the spiral table, they're making their spiral yellow. Then this is what the Ziploc bags were from, from the beginning. This is where they're going to collect all the techniques that they try out at each table. It's easy for me to grade because I know every person should have a yellow spiral check. Every person should have red curling check uh, and go through the list, um, so on and so forth. When I'm setting up the stations, some of the stations do um, like the spiral require pencils. So I'm going to set pencils out there and you'll also see me setting up some table trash bins, um, tables where you're doing something like the cone, where you're cutting out a little piece and there's going to be trash. Students don't need to walk and go to the recycling bin. They can just put them in their table right here. And then at the end, we will dump those out. So now we'll take you on a little tour. At the purple table, the students will be using that purple paper there to make a cone. At the blue table here with the blue paper, students will be practicing a pleat. Here, students will be practicing the fringe. I need to switch this up because the light green, oops, just one piece of the light green got in there. This is a dark green table, and I also have a light green table where they're going to be practicing the loop. The spiral is back here at the yellow table. The orange table has a pleated fringe. The pink table has the roll that they're going to make with the pink paper. And then the red table has curling. I'm also going to add pencils to this table so that students can curl up the paper using those pencils. Get that all set up. Now, students are following along and learning these techniques before they go to all of the stations. They're going to be watching a video where I demonstrate kind of close up what each one of these tricks looks like. And then they've got a chance to practice and move around at their own pace, saving all of their work inside of their Ziploc bag. 